I'm going to do an incline bench, I'm going to do a decline bench, and then I'm going to turn around and do my tries uh, with some pull-down exercises. But what I'm saying is, is, you know, if you do that consistently over and over again, you're going to get results. It's when you, you know, do it once and then you say, well, there's got to be another way. There's got to be something else I can do that, you know, I'm all for mixing it up, but give it some time. You know, with something like this, if you're going to go with certain exercises, go for four weeks, then switch it up. All right. But consistency is going to always uh, do better than inconsistency. And that means, you know, staying on a regimen that you can do over and over again. So with that being said, I'm going to show you a quick set of the flat bench. Again, I want to throw out there, leave your egos, you know, out of this. Um, if you're younger, um, like I was, uh, you know, 19 once too, and you know, you want to go in there and throw some weights around. But at my age right now, and as you get older, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it matters about your results. And you can still get results without having to kill yourself with a ton of weight. Um, obviously, you want to push your muscle, but you also want to, you know, be able to handle it and not kill your joints. So, with that being said, let me get on the flat bench here real quick, show you a quick set. I'm going to do technically four sets of this, a warm-up set, and then I'm going to go into a set of 12, a set of 10, and then a set of between 6 and 8. And that will be basically four sets, including the warm-up. And then when I go to inclines, we're going to go ahead and do three of those. So, let's get going. Biggest thing is you want to control it. Coming down. Now, I probably could have did more. I probably could have did three or four, maybe even five more. I'm not going to failure on this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go around now and I'm going to add more weight to this. About a minute, minute and a half rest. And then I'm going to jump right back into it, do another set, okay? Same thing, I'm going to try to get 10. From there, I'm going to turn around, add more weight, and then I'm going to come back try to do six to eight. That's how I want to do it. You're going to notice that, if, yes, if you rest three, four, five minutes in between, you're going to be able to do more. Um, and you probably might be able to do heavier weight. But this, you're keeping the muscle under strain, under pressure, and you're, you're allowing it to continue to break down because it hasn't had time to recover. So that's what we want to do there. So i got to stop talking. i got to go switch the weight. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to do the incline. Now, if you notice, I did a video before on this particular bench. I modified this bench. The incline for this bench that they have for this position is right here. And, oops, I'm out of the frame. Um, it's, it's just too high for me. It hurts my uh, shoulder, so I've made another adjustment here. And that's where I like it. And it gives me a nice incline, but yeah, it doesn't hurt my shoulder. So I'm going to try to get uh, 12 of these right now, 10 to 12. See, I just did flat bench. I did four sets of that. So that's what I'm going to do. Use a weight that you can handle. Don't let your ego get in the way. And uh, let's see what we can do. I'm going to always, again, come down and explode up. Negatives down. Right above your chest. One more. Ah, I see that. That's a pretty lightweight. But yeah, seeing that I already did a flat bench, my chest is already kind of spent. I got 12, but barely. So that's good. My next uh, set, I'm probably going to just either leave that and try to get 10, or I might go up maybe 10 pounds. I think in this case, 
I'm going to try to do this 10 times. And then I'll probably on my last set go up another 10 pounds. Again, don't go by what you think it needs to be. Go by what your body's telling you it should be. You just want to be able on the, those last couple to give you a little bit of a struggle. This one here was a little borderline. Might have been able to go down a little bit even more. Um, but again, when you let yourself come down slower and then up, it's going to also make it harder on your muscle. It's going to get tired quicker. So that's what you want to do. All right, so here's what we're going to do next. We're going to do decline. But what I got to mention here is on the decline, I'm not using the straight bar. The reason is, is because my two stanchions that go along the side don't go down low enough. Also, I like uh, the way that the, the exercise feels with the dumbbells. I have more range of motion, and I usually feel stronger. So I'm going to go with a decline on the, uh, on the floor here on the bench, but I'm going to use the dumbbells. So when we use the dumbbells, um, obviously, again, you want to concentrate on really coming down and isolating the inner and the lower chest. All right, so really squeeze it on the way up. And what I do is I lock my legs here on the bottom. I grab my weights together like this, and then I just kind of roll backwards and get yourself down, and then right to your chest, bring it up and pinch it at the top, right in the inner chest. Slow, explode up. Slow, and explode. Slow down, let them drop, and that's it. That's what you want to do, nice and easy. Again, leave the ego out of this. If you restrict your negative, especially coming back down to control that, you're going to put more tension and more resistance on the muscle. All right, so now what I'm going to do is try extensions, basically try pull downs right here. And just remember, when you're coming up, you want to basically come up to about here and then come down and pinch down at the end. Squeeze at the end. That's where all of it's happening. Right there at the end. Hold it. And then again, slow on the negative and back down. All right? So that's what I'm going to do here. Just bring it down. Just like that. And then up, slow, and then back down. Trying to keep your head up over top of your hands. So here, and down. Just like that. I try to do 12 of these. I lost track. I think I was six. One more. Oh, yeah, squeeze it at the bottom. Track slow. And that's it. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do the rope. Okay, and this is basically two pieces of, or one piece of rope with two ends onto it so you can hold your hand. But you can also spread yourself out like this. So when I come down in here, then I bring it out. And that works a different part of the tricep. So I'm going to do a lighter weight too, by the way, on this because you want it really controlled and it's, it's harder because at the end you're bringing it out versus just bringing it down. So here we go. Get yourself kind of bent over a little bit, bring it down and out. See? This, again, same thing, bring it up and down. I bring it up a little bit higher, like to here, and then down and out. Again, try to do 12 in your first set. Controlling it.
try to hold the last one if you can. And that's where you're really feeling that burn because you got to remember you're working back part of the, the tricep now versus this side here. So it's more of the back. And remember, if you're trying to build a bigger arm, I don't have that big arms. I want bigger arms, but I don't have that big arms. But the back half of your arm is your tricep. So you really should concentrate on working your tricep just as much as your bicep. So you want to work that muscle, and that's why you work it on the inner and the outer. And this one here, I'll tell you, I just started doing this. This rope was like 20 bucks maybe at one of the fitness stores. But don't fall into the trap of increasing your weight because your ego gets in the way and then you just want to come up here and go oh, ah, and you're getting all this, this that's not doing anything for you it's anything you're going to hurt yourself keep yourself locked in down and out just like that so you're here and just squeeze it right there when you squeeze and control you're going to feel the burn that's why I like working out at home because I don't have to worry about you know other people Number one, you might feel self-conscious because you're only 